So hey everybody, Doug from Intermountain Wind and Solar, how are you? So who wouldn't pay a million bucks for that view? Beautiful lake right over top of a golf course. Yeah, this is a dream lot to go ahead and build your dream home on. The only problem is, look at all of that. No power. That's right, we bought this lot, no power. Closest power, right back there behind me, about 200 yards, that house has power. Down the road down here, that house has power 200 yards away. Even behind me, this house back here, yeah, they got power. And to get power to this lot, it's $28,000 just to have the privilege of being able to connect to the utility and pay for power the rest of my life. That's just to connect. I have to dig a trench 200 yards that way or 200 yards that way for about 18 grand put the conduit in, put pull rope in that conduit so that the utility will come and actually bring power to my house. So when it's all said and done, yeah, you can do the math. That's a lot just for power. So what are we gonna do? We're going off grid. That's right. We're gonna show you how we can take a bare lot just like this, put a 2,000 square foot modular home on it, all the conveniences of home, your dream home, and do it completely by the power of the sun. That's right. It's gonna be completely off grid. Solar panels, battery, and generator, completely off-grid, 200 amp service, just like a residential service, and all gonna be powered by, yep, that big power right there, the sun. So we're gonna put it all together, show you all the phases as we go to build it, and you're gonna see it from scratch. That's where we're starting. It is mud day. That's right, today is the day that they are going and putting mud in all of that foundation. Now that's a lot of mud, 57.8 yards of mud in the foundation. This is a big deal for this project. It's about halfway through the groundwork. This morning we started with rain and hail and a big wind. So we're really happy right now that it's calmed down and we can actually crane that house over onto the foundation. 40,000 pounds a piece. That's right, 40,000 pounds. And matter of fact, right now we are in the process of putting the first half on the foundation. There you go, you can see it in the background. Both cranes have that house lifted up. They're gonna swing it over, nice and easy, and set it onto the foundation. It's a big day, it's crane day. So we reached another milestone in the project. Today is the day they come and install solar panels on the roof. This is a huge milestone because those solar panels will be all of our power from the sun on this off-grid project. Everything we get comes from that. Well, not 100% everything we get. We actually have a generator back up too in case the solar panels are covered with snow during the winter, but they're coming to install the panels. So we're getting 24 300 watt solar panels. They'll be black on black, meaning black back sheets, black frame, so that they really match nicely on the blue roof. And those 24 300 watt solar panels is a 7.2 kilowatt sized system or generating 7,200 watts altogether. So exciting day that we get to get solar panels on the roof. Now we can actually start to have a system that we can go off grid with and power the home. So the project is done, the house is completed. We've got the solar panels installed on the roof. We've also got the batteries and all the solar components down in the garage. So let's go down and talk to Mike Telford. He's gonna explain all the different components for the off grid system and what it's like to live off grid. The thing to keep in mind is that there are a lot of great battery solutions out there, but choosing the right battery system for your certain scenario is what we do best and what we can help you do as well. So solar inverter here, um, up on the roof we have 24 300 watt modules, a 7.2 kilowatt system. Right here we have the main sub panel electrical loads for the home, so this is the entire, every single circuit that powers the home. Uh, main house di power disconnect, this is here for service. We've got to be able to isolate equipment. Our two battery inverters, Sunny Island 1 and 2, they manage the entire system from the DC, from the batteries, from the generator to the solar to the loads, everything there is just kind of the brains of the system. 48 volt battery bank disconnect, just for a service purpose and safety, we've got to be able to isolate everything. Here we have 18 600 amp hour batteries. 
from our perspective on the contractor side, this monitoring system is really nice because it allows us to remotely access the system and remotely change settings. So if there happens to be a fault, we can reset that fault. If there happens to be any change, you know, if they want to change some settings depending on the weather or the climate or just the season, we can do that remotely. We don't have, we don't have to schedule a service ticket or come up. Everything can be done remotely from us and the client. So hey everybody, thanks for watching. We wanted to give you an experience with this video to see what it's like to live off grid from like bare dirt all the way through the whole project and be able to see the components of what it is to live off grid too as well. A lot of people ask me, so what do you give up when you live off grid? Do you have to conserve power? Um, no, we really don't. We don't conserve power any differently. We just kind of go ahead and live like we normally would. But the key to that is getting somebody to scale your system appropriately. You know, if you're gonna just use a couple of golf cart batteries and a few solar panels, okay, you're gonna have to make some real life changes to be able to adjust to that. Scaling your system to what you wanna to live to is extremely important. So find a company who can do that for you and scale the system appropriately. Now that you can see all the different components and what goes into it, hopefully you understand it a little bit more we appreciate you watching. Give us a call. We're happy to do anything we can to be able to scale your system as well too. Thanks for watching.